Welcome everyone to another exciting edition of Pal Pro Wrestling right here on Wrestling With Regret. He's Mr. Ooh La La. I'm Brian Zane, and we collectively have a great show in store for you this week. Now, Mr. Talk about this first matchup here. You got Abigail Warren, someone who you're very familiar with, taking on the Devil Drexel from Most Violent. Now, will you be out there in Abigail's corner tonight? Funny you mention it, because I will not. La Bruja swore she could take care of the Devil Drexel herself. She wanted to handle the business on her own. She wanted to prove that she was evil enough, devious enough, mean enough, vicious enough to handle it. Let's see if she gets it done, huh? That's right, Abigail Warren. La Bruja is gonna be shouting at the devil when she takes on the Devil Drexel. Let's go to that match right now. People have no rhythm, Drexel, no. you're wasting your time. No. I mean, I'm, I'm with Abigail on this one. I, they probably don't have rhythm and it's gonna throw her off. Now, how could they book a, a delicate flower like Abigail Warren against a, whatever you want to describe Drexel as? Because every garden needs compost. Okay. Can you say that? I, I mean, it's a 21 over show. I'm sure Drex can say whatever he wants. He's going to get off YouTube. Uh, yeah, definitely a possibility. So Drex was giving up 100 pounds in this match, just FYI. I was in the back, and, and the lady did tell me her weight. And about 40 IQ points. At least. Ah, oh, hey, now, wait, no. Mm. Now giving tetanus. Yeah. I mean, you've got to go down to Sacred Heart to get a tetanus shot for that, but this little piggy went to the market, this little piggy went home, this little piggy stayed in Drexel's mouth, and now you've got a disease. Yeah. Well, let's, let's see if Drexel can keep this match on the up and up without grabbing the, the, oh, the paper. The, the paper, the, the, the bone thingies that he brings with him. Tacks, the tubes. Yeah. Those little kebab thingies. Yeah, I don't... Uh-oh. Oof. Oh, wait. He's no. smiling and nodding on that one. How do you, how do you wrestle a, a masochist who just enjoys everything you, you dish out at him? I don't know. There she goes. Now, if you Uh, there's your answer right oh, there. Jeez Louise. Clearly there's no kind of sexual harassment closet pal. No, I don't think so. One more time. One more time. Punch him in the throat. That, that would probably... There you go. Are you like that, bitches? Background on Abigail Warren. Daughter to the legendary Big Ugly. A little more background info on her. Uh, she's angry. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh-oh, and apparently she's going to fly. Oh. Oh, he didn't enjoy that one, did he? No, that's weird. So apparently he only likes to get hit in the front. Referee Buddy Ruth telling Abigail to bring Drexel inside. This is not where you want to be with Drexel. Takes the knees to the steps. Oh, oh God. Did you hear that? Oh. 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 It's like Quasimodo ringing the bell. Yep. I think Drexel's just, uh, he's, he's tenderizing the, the next meal. Oh, no. See, this is what I'm talking about. I think most of this crowd's not aware of what he's going to do, except maybe you and I. Oh, ring the bell, ref. Just yep. ring it already. Oh, no, I'm going to be sick. And, ah! Oh, gosh. You know, I can handle tax. I can handle, 
you know, flaming tables. We start dishing out the paper cuts. That's when I start getting a little weak in the knees. Well, and I guess on the upside, ooh, from Abigail hitting that post, maybe her hand's numb and she doesn't completely feel what's going on. I certainly hope so. Oh, shot to the gut. Uh oh. Oh, her mouth. Her mouth certainly ain't numb. Uh uh. And Buddy Ruth is letting this go. Yep. Unbelievable. Yeah, Buddy Ruth's uh, not wearing his, his tie. He's kind of going business cash today. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I take notes during these matches. I'm gonna start submitting some of these critiques to the commission. About Buddy Ruth not wearing a tie? No, about the referees and their oh. lax attitude with people like Drexel. Big shooto kick right there. Almost a three count. But yes, he is not adhering to the dress code. I was not aware there was a dress code for the referees, but it's good to know that for an outside show, I don't have to wear a tie. Let's go, Drexel. Choking with his own dreads. I mean, it's essentially what she's doing. I mean. I only caught like half of that. Well, that's how you think any of that hair on the head of Derek Drexel was shampooed. Well, there's not much hair on the head. It's mostly on like the back of his neck, it looks like. Big stomp to the back. Oh, she's going up. He is going airborne. She's saying, four, saying 450? There it is. The one thing I'll say about Abigail Warren, I think she plays just a little too much. That move, however, is uh, reminiscent of her dad. Like, it's true. So, I mean, vintage ugly, let's put it that way. But she made the mistake of getting those digits out there. Oh, look at that wicked thing turn. Yep. Oh. Still working on that hand. Hands been hit with the post, hands been paper cutted, hands been stepped on. And I believe that is her dominant hand too. It is. Drexel throwing clothesline after clothesline. Irish whip reversal. Oh, she's telegraphed that. Insecure, what's Drexel got in mind here? Running knee. No, oh, just a two count. Good resilience from Abigail Warren. Yep. Looks like an inverted shining wizard. Kick to the gut. Oh! oh. Could be it. Right on the back of her dome. Two. Hey, look at that ring awareness. Yep, that is veteranism right there. But it comes from growing up in the business. That's right, I can remember her Having a match when she was about nine. Her, oh, good kick to the stomach. She might have been heading for sliced bread. Into a stunner. Going to the cover. Ooh. One count. But as I was saying, when she was young, her and her brother Titus wrestling on shows down in Sacramento. Of course, that count lawless down there. Well, yeah, it is. A kid's knife fight. I mean, it's not Lodi, but you know, there's, there's that. Drexel throwing that for him. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Smart strategy. It's take what you can get, I guess, right? Pop up, sit out. It's like a sky high. Almost. Drexel kicks out. Getting frustrated, you can tell. Yeah, and when, when she gets angry, it just gets worse for everybody else. Because you said she's mad, and you don't want her to get mad at her. Oh, bad intentions here. Running power slam, perhaps? The buckle. Even flow DDT by Drexel. Hooks the outside leg. Oh, well, he that got her. That was it.
I'm not gonna lie, I'm impressed. He mostly played by the rules. Yeah, that was that was mostly a regular wrestling match, short of you know paper cuts. That's the that's the best behavior we're gonna get at Derek Drexler. You're probably right. You're probably right. Which is a little disturbing, think knowing that you know when there's children around, he he's way more uh, off off kilter. Yeah, a little more is. helter skelter, if you will. Worse than he is when he's surrounded by a bunch of drunks. Yeah. Mr. I tell you what, you got to be disappointed in your protege, your conservatee, I guess. That's Abigail right. Warren in that matchup against the Devil Drexel. Good win for most violent. Their first win in a couple of weeks, some good momentum for them. But yeah, Mr. Kind of a setback for you and your plans, it seems. Hooray for most violent. La Bruja, this message is directly to you. You see this key? You see it? If you continue to fail to deliver, I'm going to turn it and throw it away, you'll be locked up forever, huh? Remember that next time you're up there. Stern, stern warning by the empresario toward La Bruja. Well, folks, you know what? This next match, our main event for the evening, another match that you do have a vested interest in since you are kind of buddy-buddy with the, the Masara family these days. In our main event, the Bash Brothers take on the team of Malcolm Flex and Bubba Blanchard. It was originally supposed to be the Blanchard Brothers proper, Bubba and Jeremy. Where is Jeremy this week? Well, you see, 40 to 50 to 60 feral hogs got loose on the ranch in Blanchard country. So they had to send Jeremy that. He's the only certified hog wrangler. He can wrangle a hog, he can snatch a hog like nobody's business. So he had to go, you know, get them greasy little vessels, these greasy little hogs, tie them up, throw them in the back of the truck and now they're gone, huh? Oh. That We can have bacon with our croissants at Blanchard country in the Massaro family for months and months to come. Thank you, Jeremy. Mm. That's right, feral no more are those hogs. They're gonna be on your breakfast plate soon enough. And folks, this next matchup, Flex and Bubba versus the Bash Brothers, it's gonna be physical and it's next. Well, I hope you're hungry for the main event of Pound Pro Wrestling, folks. This is Brian Zane, joined by Mr. Ooh -la -la. Due to technical difficulties, Garrett Furtick and Jonas Albert Robinson's commentary uh, isn't happening here, so we are filling in for this main event. How you doing, mister? I'm doing very, very well. Thank you for having me again. I'm starving to see Savage Heart, members of the Masaro family, Malcolm Flex and Bubba Blanchard. Take it! You know, I talked about Jeremy catching some feral hogs. Well, Bubba and Flex are going to get their hands on some greasy meat themselves tonight in the Bash Brothers, Chris Ross and Dave Turner, huh? That's right, this match has a lot of bad blood between them. We've seen the Bash Brothers go against the Blanchards proper a lot in the last several months. Not quite the same matchup here, but you gotta believe a lot of the history is still there. And you know that Malcolm Flex always representing the Massaro family. Now, Malcolm Flex is always there in a pinch for the Massaro family. Ah oh, man, Friday, and now he's going to use his power, his outstanding strength to flex the Bass Brothers into submission. Oh, what's this little dance he's doing here? He's trying to be cute. It's not going to be cute very long, I don't think. Chris Ross, he loves to have fun. I will say that. He loves to get in opponents' heads by doing some unconventional stuff. And uh, this might be that tactic here. Doing that little Rick Rude dance. He's got abs of molten steel, I think, huh? Nice lock up there. Talk about physique all you want. Comes down to fundamentals, and right now it's a great headlock applied by Chris Ross. That's right, but Malcolm Flex is going to counter, I promise. He's a good, clean wrestler. He's a trainer at the Oregon Wrestling Academy. Mm, look at that. I gotta say, Flex, uh, he is definitely ingratiating himself with the POW Pro Wrestling Faithful, the powder keg. You know, he, he, he aligns himself with the Masaro family, and a lot of fans have their feelings about them collectively, but Flex definitely seems to have that spark that the fans really gravitate toward. Well, let me assure you, we want nothing to do with those pesky fans. They're trying to suck up. They want to be great, a brush with greatness from Malcolm Flex, but he oh. won't have any of it. And speaking of great, look at that great impact. Neither man giving an inch on that shoulder tackle attempt. And now in comes the black sheep himself, Dave Turner. Mr. Musclehead himself, Dave Turner. Well, he's all brawn and no brains. And Malcolm Flex is going to... Oh, blah! Well, speaking of brains, the man's got a lot of different skulls of various types tattooed on this person, and he wants to tattoo Flex here. 
And he's squeezing Malcolm Flex's brain. The ref should watch that hair there. I think he's holding on. Oh, wow, look at that. Can you, can you, did you see that? Didn't move an inch. It's, it's not, it's a very rare occurrence when you see Malcolm Flex stagger at all against the might of another man, but you know, Dave Taylor is pretty well put together. I'll give him that, which will make it all the more impressive when Savage Heart Bubba and Flex trounce him and his partner today. Turner definitely hitting the gym. Flex, no small man, so that kind of collision, the fact that neither man really fell down or took a knee, that's pretty impressive. Now Flex coming out of the corner here, and look at that, did you see that great teamwork and that chemistry, Chris Ross saving his partner from taking that turnbuckle? In my view, I see that as cheating, he's supposed to stay in his corner, you see Bubba dutifully holding onto that tag rope, while the Bash Brothers are going willy-nilly around the ring, and they're... Well, well, we know that, you know, when it comes to the tags, the tag rope is key, but technically, your tag team partner can go anywhere they want. Look at this, nice arm drag, Bubba's first bit of action in this matchup, and he is now the, on the receiving end of a headlock of his own. Well now, Bubba might not have visually the same physique as Dave Turner, but let me assure you, he is a powerhouse without equal. That's right, he is a mile wide and very strong is Bubba Blanchard. Now look at this. Oh, oh! oh. Looks like, oh, do you see that tumble on the concrete? Check him, check him, Bubba, check him, check him. Flex trying to uh, do a little bit of the same thing Chris Ross did for his partner, but it backfired tremendously. And yeah, now they're mocking them. Oh, what good guys they are. They're making fun of somebody who might be hurt, but you know, Malcolm Flex's muscles, even his ankle muscles are well built, so I think he'll be okay. He looks to be okay. I'll say this, Flex and Bubba roll deep as part of the Masaro family, but I don't think they have quite the amount of chemistry. They're not teamed together particularly for quite as long as Turner and Ross have with each other. That is, that is a good point, and of course Bubba and Jeremy are intertwined. They think the same thoughts, they feel the same pain, mm -hmm. and it's hard to replace that connection. You know, you find out the day, the day of the event that your partner's change, and it Put, put him at a disadvantage. Oh, now we'll see the power of Bubba Blanchard come into play here. Watch this. He is going to just crash. Oh, 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 oh. oh ouch. Yeah, that's, oof. I mean, that's a, that's a whole lot. I, I can't even think of the words to describe the level of pain that Bubba must have gone through just there, that split. Yeah, I know he got hit in both heads. Good Lord. If, if you think about it. Now look at this, Bash Brothers having some fun here at uh, Bubba Blanchard's expense. He's taking Bubba off his axis with that move, you see, he's swiveling. He's not dancing like Chris Ross was earlier, he's in pain, he's in terrible pain. And now Flex is going to make the Bash Brothers pay. That's right, Malcolm Flex, he's uh, he got his head back in the game here. Match has kind of slowed down, I think it would behoove the Bash Brothers to keep this going at their pace. Not try and rely so much on what Flex and Bubba are doing here. Oh, oh, look at that. Nice uh, torque on the arm wrench there. Chris Ross back in there. Lots of in and out, in and out with the Bash Brothers. Which way is he going? A bit of a oh. misdirection. Look at that. I don't even know what to call that move. A leapfrog something in there. Very deft uh, move. Uh, agility by Ross there to kind of change direction on a dime. Double shoulder tackle. All right, Devin Becker, get them out of the ring. Double team here. Tell you what, that, that shoulder tackle wasn't the most coordinated in the world. It was not simultaneous impact, but it had a double the effect on Flex for sure. And now they're coming back. Look at this. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, up and downs they go. You know, I kind of wish I was out here for this one. You know, it, it seems like maybe Bubba and Flex needs a little bit of uh, a little bit of advice, a little bit of a game plan. I don't think I've seen Bubba take to the sky like that. Well, I'm not going to compare him to the, something from Goodyear, but he was up there for sure. That's that, right. Now, oh, now the, the outside, I think, is where one or both Blanchards, the Massaro family in general, can really excel. And look at that. Thrown right into the steps and falling hard on the concrete. Referee sees none of this. Step by step, ooh, baby. Gonna get to you, Chris. Stop singing that. We gotta pay rights for it. <laughs> As, I, I can do six miles, I know the rules. As you can see here now, the tide has turned tremendously toward the Masaro family, Savage Hearts. Flex now asserting his will, throwing Ross back into those steps, then back in the ring. 
All right, let's see you do a little dance now, Chris Ross. That's so funny, huh? Yeah, no more dancing here in this match here. It's gonna come down to grit and who wants this win more? Looks like Bubba's got him right where he wants him. Bubba's in control. Chris Ross is down. Now he's going to squeeze the oh. knife out of him. Oh, look at that. Trying to claw those eyes out in the ropes, and it's a, illegal anyway. The referee trying to break it up. Nice, fair technical maneuver by Bubba Blanchard. The sun setting here at Blair Alley in Eugene, Oregon. And the sun could be setting on the chances for Chris Ross in this match. Drop toehold into the elbow, right to the back of the neck. And you know, many moons will have to pass before the Bash Brothers will ever get one over on any member of the Masaro family. And Flex staying on him. Really working the eyebrows, you know. They're really focusing on the eyebrows, maybe, you know. The, the brows, that's what they're working on there? Yeah, we're putting some pressure on the temples, squeezing in their brains. All right, well, I think you need to head back to anatomy oh. class. And look at that, Bubba using his head, using his anatomy to good use. Lots of head games here by Savage Hot Bubba and Flex. Now they're doing a bit of the in and out. They're getting coordinated. They're finding their place. They're finding their cohesion as a team, finally. That's right. I mean, oh, look at that. Fingers dug right into the eyes <laughs> and the nose of Chris Ross. They've certainly found a rhythm. Have Bubba and Flex. We call that move the, the face hugger, you know, from Aliens. Oh, I get the reference. Here we go. Into the ropes. Some of those knees. Shades of Val Venus with that. And look at that twisting neck breaker. Shake, rattle, and roll by Malcolm Flex, huh? And Flex, he's uh, soaking it in here. He's uh, blowing kisses to the crowd. Could be over. No, Ross kicking out too. He, and look at that. He goes right into the chin lock, does Flex. He knows what he's doing in there. You know, you might have a point with Malcolm Flex. He does seem to be pandering to these peons out here, but I think maybe we'll have to sit him down with Uncle Sal and Vincenzo Masaro and perhaps, you know, talk about priorities. Right now, Flex's main priority is the win here. And he is bearing down, cranking that pressure. You can see Ross, he's, he's looking, he's passed out from where I can sit, mister. He is squeezing the life, the will to live out of Chris Ross, while Dave Turner can do nothing but just stomp, frustrated on the apron while... Well, well, wait a minute, mister. Uh, don't, uh, don't count your chickens just yet, or your feral hogs, because Ross looks to be fighting back here. Looks like the bash, the party is not over yet for Chris Ross. That's right. Oh, nice shot to the... The ribs there, that'll, that'll alter you. That'll, that'll definitely get you jumping and letting go. And now Flex is dazed. Come on, Flex, get to Bubba, get to Bubba. Oh, look at that, driving the knee right into the face. And right. that's got Ross on Dream Street in the corner. All right, Flex needs to get him back onto the other side of the ring, away from the proximity of Dave Turner. One wrong move and Dave Turner will be in this match, fresh as a daisy. Well, I think they're very well aware of that. Any, uh, any tag team worth their weight in salt knows the importance of isolating the opponent and cutting the ring in half. See, Flex, he's doing a little jaw jacking while he's putting in the work and throwing those fists. Flex feeling a bit sassy here. Oh, holding on to him. Good, good, good strategy there, That's right. Flex. Can't afford to let the partner, the opponent, get away. You gotta keep a hand on him. That's a good strategy. Look at Bubba just drive that shoulder into the gut of Chris Ross. He's got him right where he wants him. And there's the face hugger again. Again, digging the fingers into the face. In Referee letting a lot of this go here. Pretty lenient with that five count. You know, in space, you might be able to hear Bubba scream. No one else, but probably Bubba. That's right. I think he... Oh! oh. He might be the only one you could hear in space. His chest is about to burst from the... From the impact into those turnbuckles. Tag made to Dave Turner. Referee almost missed it, but now Turner the Black Sheep. House of Fire here throwing the clotheslines. Two for Bubba, one for Flex, and another on the way, maybe. The Black Sheep is looking to be the white knight for his team. He's he's dominating Flex and Bubba. Turner's had a lot of time to think about what he's going to do once he gets in. Now he's seeing his plan come to fruition. Great cross body. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Bubba's the legal man, Bubba's the legal man. You know, you're right, you're right, that wasn't a tag made on the other side, but look at this, Bubba's got that chain. B B Bubba found a chain, he's going to give it to the referee. He, he, see, he, he's going the long way, doesn't want to interfere with the action. Oh, 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 see, he tried to show the referee the chain, but Dave Turner got in the way. He showed Dave Turner the chain, all right, the referee saw none of it. Oh, are you kidding me? What is the world, what is the world? That's pretty surprising to me. I thought Dave Turner was done for after getting hit right in the dome with that chain. Oh! Oh, kill him again! 
Someone's got to step in here and get that chain away from Bubba. Twice for good measure. Twice. Look at this. He's hiding the chain, oh, hooking the I leg. Know. Putting the leg. And by hook or by crook, or rather by chain, Bubba Blanchard sealing the victory for Savage Heart and the Masaro family. See, this was all just a misunderstanding. Bubba was trying... Oh. The, wait, wait a uh. minute. Oh, I think the ruse has been exposed now, mister. See, this referee, he's trying to pass the bunk on to Bubba. The referees are supposed to build and check this ring for any dangerous objects. Clearly, that chain was in the turnbuckle. What's a chain doing in the ring? There's no chain to be part of the ring. You can see here, he's restarting this matchup. What? What? That's right. Oh, meeting of the minds. Oh, no, 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 no. Double no, roll up. No, no. That's it. The Bash Brothers win this matchup. Double pin, this wasn't the best two out of three falls. This was not a tornado match. Well, the, Who was legal, who was not? It was chaos, it's Devin Becker. The two legal men counted. That's exactly what happened. The Massaro family trying to steal a win, but not so. Referee finally caught wise to the chain. And now you can see Flex, he's, he's not having any of this. Oh wow, he's gonna grab oh. the referee? What are you kidding me? Well, we have enough money to pay for it, it's okay, we could. I mean, you don't put hands on a referee regardless, even if you don't agree with the decision. And I think the referee had every right to restart that match after seeing the chain, and you can see it cost Savage Heart the win after all. Well, talk about a roller coaster, a real reversal of fortune for the Bash Brothers. That match had to be restarted due to the chicanery, and uh, next thing you know, the Bash Brothers are on top. How do you feel about that, Mr. Chicanery, you know, I really regret not going out there with Bubba and Flex representing the Masaro family. Some idiot fan there at Blair Alley threw in a chain after the bench, after the Blanchards brothers, after Flex had won, and the stupid, stupid, ill-trained, ill-advised, ill-at-ease referee assumed, of course, that it was Bubba who had used the chain. Restarts the match. In the confusion, the Bash brothers push him together. The little noggins knock. They're confused, they're disoriented. One, two, three. That should not count! They were not in a good medical state to restart the match. They were confused. Let me just say, from a personal standpoint, you know, many, many moons ago, I know Jeremy Blanchard wasn't part of this match, but I recall very similar activity happening one time when I managed Jeremy in a match, hiding the chain under his arm the way that Bubba did there. And next thing I knew, I was wearing a dress by the end of the night. So I have no sympathy for Bubba and Flex as the result of that matchup. Unfortunately, I did not have a dress available for that ref, but maybe next time. You watch yourself, Devin Becker. Join us next week for Pal Pro Wrestling right here on Wrestling With Regret when you've got the Flamin' Aces taking on Dead to Rights. That's right. Hutch out Spencer Scott, the Playboys A. Perez. They were ousted, they were defeated by Dead to Rights just a few weeks ago on Pal Pro Wrestling, but they want to prove, they want to test their metal, they want to show that they belong here in the Pal Tag Team Division with Dead to Rights. They have other ideas. That's right. Dead to Rights had just formed when that first match you spoke of happened. They've only gotten better since then. Then in our main event, a battle of the young guns as Titus Alexander, the former Pal Pro Wrestling Champion, takes on Adriel Noctis. Mister, what can you tell us about that match? Well, the Blood Thief, the newly debuting Adriel Noctis, has been lighting it up on the West Coast, especially in Las Vegas. But he has a tough test ahead of him against the very first Pal Pro Wrestling Champion, None other than the future franchise, Titus Alexander, who will prove that they are the hottest prospect to Intel Pro Wrestling. We'll find out next weekend. That's right, next week is going to be a big, but until then, for Mr. Ulala, I'm Brian Zane. We'll see you next time, and get ready.